Hi there, so uh, I got a few requests to do this green screen DaVinci tutorial in uh, English basically. So um, yeah, let's get started. First off, I apologize for my bad English, but <laughs> I guess I'll try my best. So um, I have my clip here in my timeline and to do a green screen, we'll go to the uh, color tab. And what we're gonna do is use our trusty qualifier to select the green part or the green screen part. Now I'm sure many of you are familiar with the qualifier tool, the uh, eyedropper tool here, but for any absolute beginner watching, well maybe we should uh, go over it just a little bit. So basically the qualifier tool is just used to select certain colors at certain brightness and certain saturation and things like that. Now there are many different versions of uh, the qualifier tool, but for green screen work, I suggest you start uh, with the 3D version. I think this is designed for uh, green screen work. Basically, all you have to do is just make sure you select this, um, this option right here. Don't be selecting the minus or the plus at first, just use this one. And basically all you have to do is just draw a path along the, uh, the colors you want to select or the area you want to select. Now, if you press uh, Shift Edge uh, H, that's uh, H for home, <laughs> in case uh, you know my accent is not very good. But basically, now the program will show you which part it has, it has selected. Now, sometimes it can be quite difficult to see exactly uh, where it's being selected, so you can always press Shift Alternate and H a few times, and it will show you the black and white version where the white part uh, where the program is selected, and the black part is where it's not being selected. And obviously the gray part is somewhere in between, so the program is not sure, oh, should I select this or not? And as you can see, with our first qualifier path that we drew here, some parts are not very uh, fully uh, selected. So we can always um, use the qualifier and draw another path. So um, I just draw here, I'll click, left click and hold. And as you can see, it's selected much more of the background. Now, if, you, if I press just uh, Shift H, go back, as you can see now I've drawn uh, three qualifier paths to say, oh, just select this area, select this area, and select any green that is similar to this area. So if we don't want to um, use any of them, we can always just uh, turn it off and to see how it affects the selection. So if I go back, Shift Alternate H, now if I turn the second path on, you can see much more of the area selected. And if I turn the third part on, uh, it's not doesn't very make much of a difference, so I just delete this. Now to clean up the selection uh, problems, we can always use these options here. Basically the white clip, if you decrease it, as you can see, any part that's close to already being selected. So as you can see here, it's like light gray. So the program's nearly, oh, I think I should select it, but I'm not fully selecting it yet. We, if we decrease the white clip, or the light gray areas will become selected. And also in some areas where basically there's a large part of white, so there's a huge area of being selected and there's like little spotches of not of black in between or gray in between and we can always use the clean white to remove those little spotches in middle in the middle of the white area so if I just increase a clean white as you can see all the parts are pretty much selected now now obviously you can do the same with the uh, black clip and the clean black so if there's like some area which is dark gray and you want it to be uh, completely black, you can always increase the black clip. And also if there's like some white splotches in the middle of your black area, you can always clean black and it will just remove the white splotch, uh, splotches. But obviously now I think we've got a reasonably good selection. This clip's not very hard to do. Uh, so I'll just press Shift H. And basically if we just look at it again, if I just press Shift H, obviously right now we're selecting the green area. So we don't want to do that. We want to select our person. So I just press this button over here and it will invert our selection. So now instead of choosing the green screen, it will select the person instead. And as you can see, there's some green cast from this green screen. I think the green color bouncing onto our subject. So basically with the, th the great thing about this tool is you can just press the despill button. And as you can see, the program will take care of pretty much most of the green cast. Actually, wow, this is better than I expected. So now basically uh, we've got our base for our green screen selection. Um, all we have to do now is just output this as an alpha channel. Basically just come to the node here, right click and add alpha output. And we'll just drag this little arrow here onto the alpha output. So basically what this is telling the program is saying, okay, all the part, all the part of the image that's not selected, we'll just make it transparent. So obviously from this node right here, all the background 
green screen area is not currently not being selected. So when we drag it onto the alpha channel, we'll just make all the part that's not selected transparent. So now we just have to put the new background in. We just go to our edit tab and I'll just uh, put my child above video on video two and I'll just put something underneath. Uh, in this case, I've got some, just a random video clip. So I'll just put it underneath here. And as you can see, if we start to, uh, there you go. If we start to play the video, then we got the child above clip on the top. But obviously we told the program that the green screen area wanted to be transparent. So now we just see through onto the bottom layer, which is the video underneath. So basically that's pretty much it to do the green screen in DaVinci Resolve, which is um, not too difficult, I think. But so if you want to go and try it out for yourself, you can do now, but I might just um, go back to the qualifier too and go over some of the options and details in case, in case you go uh, come across a more difficult clip or you want to fine tune your adjustment a little bit more. So um, for those, uh, happy with this uh, well good luck and have fun but um for those who want to continue watching then well let's go let's look at a few extra options we have for our 3d qualifier here uh the first one that you might be interested in using is if we press shift h uh, just to see the uh, selection now the soft um option is basically how hard you want your edge to be so if you press it to zero as you can see the edge between the selection and the part not selected is very very sharp now if you start to increase the softness, so it just kind of blurs it out and make it nice and smooth. But if you go too far, then it will just kind of fade too much. So all the, uh, the non-selection part will start to eat into your image and it's obviously not very, what you want basically. Usually I find that the 50 is, uh, is fine. Now the next part is sometimes your subject might be wearing like a yellow shirt or something or have a yellow logo, which is kind of similar to green. So sometimes when you draw the selection path, so when you draw the selection path to select the green screen, uh, the yellow logo might, or some part of it might be selected as well. Now what you can do is tell the program which color not to select. So you can just click on the, um, the minus sign, uh, the eyedropper tool with the minus sign here, and just drag a path and tell the program, okay, don't definitely, definitely do not select this color. Or you can just use the, the same option and just press alternate and then draw a path like that so you can use it either way but obviously if you just press alternate and draw it might be quicker and so any mistake you make you can just uh, delete the, the path uh, this I've already shown you and also the U, uh, YUV and HSL this is the different kind of color alg basically calculation method the program will use basically now some clip you might have to experiment a little bit uh, one one might give you a better result than another but um, usually the YUV is uh, is fine for me for most green, sc green screens I've done. And the final two options that we'll be looking at is the uh, the blur radius and the in and out ratio, which is, um, okay, I just press shift alternate H. So the blur radius is kind of self-explanatory. It's just how much you want to blur the edges of your selection. So as you can see, the higher I increase the the, the value, the more blurry the edges is. So you can experiment with different clip uh, of or your taste of how much you want it to be blurred. And the in and out ratio is how much to expand out the edge of your selection or contract it in um, compared to your original selection. So if you want to maybe expand the selection out a bit, you want to select more of the edges, you can just increase the in and out ratio. And as you can see, the selection will expand and gets get bigger. But if you want to contract or make it eats into your subject a little bit, you can always put it into the minus and it'll just eat in. So as you can see, it got rid of uh, quite a lot of these like white splotches because when we start to contract the selection in, the black part will eat into the white part and these selections are not selected anymore. And also some of our edges start to shrink. So now the edges kind of eats into our subject. Uh, again, you can play around with different clips that will, will require different settings to look uh, its best basically. So you'd have to um, experiment with different clips. But yeah, well, I hope that was hopeful. Or if you have any more questions, please, please feel free to just uh, comment down below. And um, I probably wouldn't go into the other qualifier options today because then the clip would be way too long. But um, if you have any more questions, please feel free to ask. And I hope that was helpful. And well, hopefully we'll see you again next clip if I ever do an English clip ever again. So bye.